What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we have one of the best, if not the best, collaborations of 2023, and that is the unheard of Robbery Low Grandma's Couch. Now this shoe did release, I want to say November the 16th, 2023. Never got around to doing a video, but I figured I can't start 2024 reviews without mentioning this shoe. Um, so better late than never. Let's get into this shoe. And real quick first, collaboration. When you think about collaboration, you think about, you know, two companies getting together, making one great quality product. In my opinion, in 2023, it was a good collapse, but for the most part, it was only maybe a special box. And really no presentation at all with the shoe. In this case, excellent presentation. So let's get into it. Um, as I stated, the shroud on this box, um, the collaboration, the whole theme of this shoe from Unheard Of is the grandma's couch. So basically, this shroud is like the plastic that some grandmas in the late 70s early 80s would have on a couch mostly to keep it clean and i will date myself um slightly on this one as my grandma also had a you know a protective layer on her couch she also had um like the plastic floor running from the front door to the kitchen to keep the rug clean um so this collaboration in my opinion um just looking at the protective shroud on it already has worn in my opinion Excellent presentation. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this review. Just take a look at the presentation. Look at the box. Excellent quality box. And when I tell you the plastic shroud actually smells like the that plastic on grandma's couch, man, they nailed that shit. On the side of the box, it has his grandma's saying to him, which is always be a good boy. And you will see that theme throughout the shoe as we get into it. Again, high quality uh, box. Very sturdy. And it is a slide out box. Here's a quick look at the shoes. They do come individually wrapped. And give you an overhead look at the accessories that came with these um, shoes. That's this little card of his grandma. And she's holding the um, robbery lows. Very dope picture. As you can see the floral pattern. Um, this is basically the theme of the shoe. From a purse to the couch and all of that. This sticker has a hummingbird with the Adidas Trifoil logo, unheard of. Also has this little VIP card. It has these, I think these are lace locks, Adidas, unheard of. It also has this keychain ring. Um, it is like a rubberized material. Very nice. And you also get this poster um, floral pattern. And it has that always be a good boy theme on it. It's one thing I will say about this collaboration presentation is awesome um, you also get this this um, dust bag it has that uh, floral pattern embroidered into it also says unheard of as you can see the texture of this is like a corduroy pattern and um, that is also themed inside the shoe as you'll see here shortly the yeah, nice quality dust bag as you can see on the back of it it has again always be a good boy and that is embroidered um, Slightly heavy duty little dust bag, so overall, very dope presentation in my opinion. So let's go ahead and get into the shoes. And here you have it, guys. The Adidas Robbery Low Unheard Of Collab Grandma's Couch. I'll give you a quick 360 of the shoe. Very nice quality, man. Very vibrant colors. Um, this did this shoe did come in only two colorways. This lavender um purple colorway, and they also had like a turquoise green colorway. And I want to say this shoe was limited to a thousand um, units per colorway. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at all the details of this shoe. Starting from top to bottom with the sock liner, you have that lavender purple standard cotton sock liner. Very well padded um, for what it is. I would say the padding in the Achilles um, tendons area is very nicely padded. Peeking into the shoe, you probably do notice um, the extra set of laces in it. It comes pre-laced up with the lavender laces. And they also provide you with like a cream sail colored lace. And they do have like the gold aglets on the lace tips. Very nice quality. And they also provide you with like that fire red um, lace. And they also have the gold aglet tip laces. Very nice. Um, I think for now, I probably will stick with the, the laces, the lavender laces that it comes pre-laced with. Or I might change it out for um, the red laces. I'm not sure. 
And the lavender laces also come with the gold aglet tips on them. Taking a quick look at the insole, as you can see, you have that floral pattern. Um, also, you have the takes, always be a good boy. And of course, you have your Adidas branding. Very dope insole, and that is um, screen printed into the insole. I would take it out, but I think it's actually glued in, and I'd rather keep that intact for now. Taking a look at the tongue tab, you do have that Adidas branding on it. And this is like a very soft, um, almost like a lamb skin leather on it. Very um, soft and thick cut. And that same leather is on the heel counter tab also with your Adidas branding on it that's embroidered. Taking a closer look at the tongue, you have that uh, floral pattern that's embroidered throughout the tongue and also um, the side panels. And it is like of that corduroy material that's on the tongue and the side panels. And taking a look at the lavender leather portions on this shoe, very nice leather. It's, it's a different cut of leather. It almost feels like a very short hair suede um, but it is, in fact, a smooth leather, but the texture and feel of it is all is very close to like being a short hair suede. See if I can get up close and show you some of the texture of it. Very nice, um, soft feel. Really like the subtle um, texture hits of it. Stakes Adidas. Uh, moving to the rear of the shoe, you have that theme text again. Always be a good boy on the heel counter of the shoe. Taking a look at that side panels again, you have that floral pattern and that corduroy material. Um, I really like how the three stripes jump off um, of that floral background into the lavender leather portions of the shoe. I think it contrasts very well. Uh, moving out into the gum bottom mid and outsole, very nice touch. And taking a look at the outsole, I really like the design of this Adidas Rivalry Low. Um, this is the first one I own, but very nice um, details on the outsole. You have that lavender um, four foot bed. Moving down into like that fire red mid foot section. You have your Adidas branding in the middle. Last but not least, you have that lavender um, heel counter pad. Very nice outsole. Very nice subtle hits on this shoe. Just take a look at the, um, the eyelet section with these metallic gold rings. This is like a, almost like a flat gold. And then you have this very polished gold, and it is, it's not plastic, it's a metal piece. Um, just nice attention to details on that. And taking a look at the medial side of the shoe, I think this is probably my favorite part of the shoe, um, is this red midsole portion. I think it just makes this whole medial side of the shoe pop that much more. All right, let's take a quick look at my right shoe, and we'll get you guys out of here. And when these released, they released, I think it was $160. They released for um, not too bad at all, man. From um, like I like I stated earlier, the presentation of this collaboration and the eye to detail on this shoe is excellent, in my opinion. I mean, just look at the the materials used on the side panels, the tongue, and the and the toe box. That's just dope, and it's all embroidered. Excellent. Even the placement of the sizing tag never seen it in that spot um another thing i like about this shoe is the actual tongue very wide tongue i did try the shoe on um very comfortable um it does somewhat look like a slim cut shoe but i can confirm being um slightly wide footer um that I, this shoe is very comfortable i had no issues with it i will say that i did try it on unlaced but i really don't see any issues of it um even laced up very dope pair um let me know how y'all feel about this um adidas rivalry low collaboration with unheard of the grandma's couch again this shoe came in two colorways this lavender and um they also had like a torque a turquoise green colorway i just like this one slightly better um i thought the colors contrast well together preferably uh this fire red against the lavender and also guys let me know um which lace option you would go with would you leave the lavender laces in or would you go with this cream or um would you go ahead and throw the these fire red laces in there for now, I think I'm going to leave the lavender in, but if I had to probably pick, I might try to red out just to see how um, that contrasts 
in my opinion, you can't go wrong with either one of these laces. But again, guys, that's what I have for you today. Just wanted to come through and um, do a review on this collaboration between Unheard Of and Adidas. Um, like I was saying, this did come out November of 2023. And I will admit that this shoe did get lost in the shuffle. So I did want to um, get this review out. And uh, give you a closer look at this shoe. I really think this is probably one of the slept on collaborations of 2023. Hell, if I had to bet on it, I would go ahead and say it was the best of 2024 also. That's how much I like the shoe. But I appreciate y'all for coming through for a quick look at this Adidas Rivalry Low unheard of collaboration with Adidas. Um, stay tuned to the channel. We're fastly approaching 2,000 subscribers, and my goal is to hit at least 2,000 in 2024. So if you would, please hit the subscribe button, and I will greatly appreciate it on my journey. Once again, thank you for stopping by. Until the next time, peace.